सो फॉर न्यू अकाउंट क्रिएशन इन द एप्लीकेशन लेट्स गो टू न्यू अकाउंट फर्स्ट नेम फॉर एग्जाम्पल हेयर यू कैन राइट योर फर्स्ट नेम लास्ट नेम देन ई मेल आई डी यू कैन फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई हैव ऑलरेडी रजिस्टर्ड सो आई वुड जस्ट पुट और फोन नंबर सेवन सिक्स फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन जीरो सो टेन डिजिट फोन नंबर पासवर्ड कन्फर्म पासवर्ड सिलेक्ट वर्कशॉप ग्रुप सो फॉर फील्ड एस एम एल आई फील्ड स्टाफ दे हैव टू चूज एस एम एल फील्ड स्टाफ एज सर्विस ग्रुप फॉर अदर पीपल हु आर यूजिंग दिस टूल एंड आर द डीलरशिप रिप्रजेंटेटिव दे हैव टू सिलेक्ट देयर कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग जोन्स सो हेयर आई विल सिलेक्ट एज एस एम एल फील्ड स्टाफ सिलेक्ट सिटी एज चंडीगढ़ एंड सिलेक्ट वर्कशॉप एज एस एम एल सर्विस इंजीनियर तो हेयर वेन आई विल सबमिट password and confirm password did not matched okay sorry here it was till 6 so now i will submit okay. 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so i will submit now this whole data will go on to the server okay back end server and register successfully now you have submitted your request for registration okay so now when the uh, uh, when we will approve your request from the back end only then your this application will start working okay but once it starts working then you can use it in both online as well as offline mode okay so i have already uh, registered with my mail id so i will just sign in now this is the main screen now uh, for uh, um, connecting with the vehicle ecu you have to create one new job card okay this is auto fetch number of the job card then i will select plus now i am sitting in a bs6 vehicle and i want to do troubleshooting of engine management system so i will go into engine management system then i will select sub model so my sub model here is bs6 diesel okay select model here this is not applicable enter registered number so uh, as this is a new vehicle stock vehicle so it is not having its registration number but uh, uh, when the you are attending the vehicles in the field you have to put the registration number that should match with the vehicle registration okay for example i will put here ch 01 okay now chassis number so here enter chassis number only last six digits okay so here you have you can see that this uh, numeric keypad has opened so last six six digits so presently i am sitting in chassis number Two eight zero five four three. Two eight zero five four three. Now enter kilometers travelled. So it has travelled around twelve kilometers. Enter comp enter complaint. So I am checking inducement complaint. Okay. So this I have created a job card. Now this complaint has got registered with my backend. Okay. So I can uh, refer this complaint in my backend. now i have to connect the dongle so i have already plugged in the dongle now i will press this there are three modes to connect the dongle bluetooth usb and uh, wifi so because our dongles are uh, uh, wifi enabled so i will select on this wifi icon now here you can see your dongle is uh, showing here you will just connect 
okay now your dongle has got connected so here first i can uh, check read dtc so there is uh, this dtc battery state of charge performance okay you can go into troubleshooting here you will see all the this uh, uh, causes remedies remedy elections and effect on the vehicle okay this is coming on the uh, this uh, uh, screen okay so i will go back i will clear the fault codes so dtc cleared i will again refresh no dtc found now i will go into live parameters so here you can see all the live parameters are there starting from 001 to are there are around 350 live parameters and in one go we can select maximum of 20 parameters so that the uh, speed is also maintained with which the uh, dongle is reading the data from the ecu okay so i will select any uh, this i will select air mass flow okay i will select this uh, charged air cooler downstream pressure and then i can select some temperature one like i will just type in temperature here so here you can see all the uh, parameters in which temperature is there they have come here okay so sensed inlet air temperature okay here you can see the temperature before oxidation catalyst fuel system temperature coolant temperature okay here you can select these values so now i will press continue button so here i am getting all these values now i will i can take a snapshot or i can record it or i can just for my reference i have to just play it now these all values are coming live now i will just start my engine here you can see when i have started my engine these all values have started to uh, fluctuate okay so now if i press some accelerator pedal you can see the sensed fresh air mass flow it will increase okay and similar is the similar is the charged air down cooler charged air cooler downstream pressure okay so here i can check these values so now i will uh, go back uh, to the parameter selection okay i now for the right parameters okay for parameter writing i can go here in the right parameter subsection i will find all these uh, parameters so here you can see iqa code okay so here are the injector codes so you can enter the injector codes for writing here adaptation factor so here you can put the value of adaptation factor and it will get right okay so for uh, uh, ecu flashing here we are having the flashing option here we can choose the data set like 85 kilowatt 75 kilowatt and we can start the flashing here we are having remote diagnostics this uh, we will uh, uh, activate like here you can see that uh, uh, this uh, different people who would be seated at head office there you can uh, press this remote request and your uh, uh, device will get connected to their uh, mobile phones or laptops now this is input output uh, routine test so here you can see all the we are having the test eol end of line command combining first filling and all the tests dosing wall dry test emptying test here we are having service regeneration spray test and all okay and then we are having the actuator test so there we will find some uh, uh, more test like uh, urea backflow pump valve urea solenoid pump scr main relay etc so this is the basic overview of the application